So we have tested so many AI tools before for changing clothes, right? But in this video, I'm going to tell you guys the most amazing and the most perfect AI tool that will help you change clothes of your model, no matter how hard the pose is or how complex the picture is. Like with the help of that, you'll be able to change a clothes with AI no matter what, all right? So yeah, I'm talking about IDM Vton. And at the end of the video, I'm also going to be telling you an amazing use case to boost your Printify business with this amazing AI tool as well. So yeah, this is Osman from Skill Curve, and let's jump right into the video. All right, guys. So here I am in the home page of the Hugging Face repository of IDMV Ton. So this is basically the perfect AI tool to change clothes or change a dress with AI. All right. So it offers a very intuitive interface. So first of all, it asks you to upload image of your model. Then you have to upload your garment. So either it can be from the examples or either it can be from uh, your own gallery. Then it basically provides you the output uh, of your model with the changed clothes, all right? Then uh, we have some of the more options. You can use auto-generated mask or you can go ahead and paint uh, the area where you want to go ahead and change the clothes, all right? So there are lots of options. So first of all, let's just go ahead and take a look at the example. So we have quite a bit of a models right over here and we have few celebrity images over here as well, you guys can see, right? So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and take uh, this model as an example. So initially, she's wearing a Vane's shirt, right? And here we have a few of the examples of the dresses as well. So first of all, we have this dress. Then we have uh, this Mickey Mouse t-shirt. Then we have this white dress, uh, this sports blue shirt, this black shirt. So yeah, she's already wearing a t-shirt. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to some fancy dress. So I'm going to go ahead and do this red one, okay? And after that, that's all, all right? So either you can go ahead and use auto-generated mask or you can unclick this option and you can go ahead and paint the area by your own, all right? But I'm gonna go ahead and click on auto-generated mask and that's all. I'm gonna click on try on and in just a few seconds, uh, the clothes of this lady is going to be changed from this uh, to this, all right? All right, there you go, guys. So this is our final image right over here. Initially, the image was that. And it basically auto mask, or you can say auto brush the clothes on this model like by itself. It basically did very, very amazingly. So yeah, the auto mask uh, feature is very, very good as well. And yeah, take a look at the generated, like the final image, right? The dress this is the initial dress. And the dress on that looks absolutely perfect, right? Let's take one more example. I'm going to take um, this guy who's sitting. So this will be kind of a tricky. Let's see how is this going to turn out. And I'm going to change this jacket and everything into um, this Gucci shirt. All right. So this is a side pose. So let's just see how this is going to turn out. And I'm going to do auto generated mass first of all. And if we go ahead and have any problems uh, with the result, so we can uh, do like, you know, our own manual uh, mask on that as well, right? On the plot. But here you go, guys. The result came out absolutely perfect. You guys can see this was a really challenging pose, right? It was a side pose. The guy was sitting. And, you know, it was really hard uh, for the AI to judge where the clothes are. But somehow it managed to do that very effectively. And now uh, the end result, the end image looks absolutely fantastic, right? So these are some of the use cases uh, that IDM Vton offers by itself. But yet, I have a very unique, very amazing use case uh, for this IDM Vton is that you can go ahead and use this amazing tool to increase your business, right? So you guys know, you know, uh, we did our last video on print on demand, very basically printed designs on our shirts and basically advertise that to different stores on different models, right? So what if we take the same tool and we basically take the shares that we generated uh, from print on demand on printify.com. So on Printify, I'm going to go ahead and go to my products. So these are basically some of my products that I created in my last video. So these are like my own product, my own shares. So that I'm going to go ahead and be advertising on different models, right? I can either select the models uh, that IDMV Dawn has already given me, or I can upload my own model as well. So yeah, I have lots of use cases. So this way, I can increase uh, the advertising of my product and, you know, I can sell it more and more and upload it on different stores, right? So yeah, this way, I basically uh, gather some of the t-shirts. I basically downloaded them and now I'll be advertising uh, those on different models, right? So first of all, I'm going to take the model from IDM Vuitton itself. I'm going to take uh, this girl and in here, I'm going to upload my own image, right? 
All right, so it will be this image first of all, like this t-shirt, all right? The t-shirt looks great. Let's just see how it's gonna look on my this model, all right? I'm gonna do auto-generated mask. Let's just try on and see how it looks, okay? All right, wow, this looks absolutely perfect, right, so yeah? Now our t-shirt is on this model. This is looking like this girl is actually wearing this shirt and our shirt is advertised really, really beautifully on the model. And yeah, this looks absolutely perfect. I'm really much amazed by how accurate IDMB tone give you results like without any deformation like without any and the kind of curve it is having on the shirt yeah it looks really really great right okay so but i look at this closely we do have some problems in the sleeves right so there's uh sleeves extending uh like very weirdly right so if you guys can see on the masked image output it basically colored everything like the arms as well so i'm gonna go ahead and unclick this auto generated mask and try to brush like everything myself okay this way, uh, it will be very accurate and we won't see like this kind of deformation, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and mask around the shirt of the girl myself this time. All right, so it's done perfectly this time and now I'm gonna go ahead and click on try on once again and see how it's gonna turn out this time now, okay? All right, so now this is absolutely perfect, right? So now we have no deformation, our t-shirt looks really, really good basically brush uh, the t-shirt myself and now the results are pretty much accurate right now let's just go ahead and test out one more example we're gonna go ahead and just pick a model from here it will be uh the celebrity one let's just go ahead and take taylor swift from here and then i'm gonna drag the image off one of my t-shirts which will be um this uh this time all right okay now first of all i'm gonna select use auto generated mask and let's just see whether it will turn out okay or not i'm gonna click on try on all right, so clearly uh, it didn't turn out that great. We have long sleeves and it's looking like, you know, it basically uh, is shirt, right? So now we have to go ahead and basically color the shirt in our input image, right? So for that, I'm going to go ahead and unselect use auto generated mask. Click on my draw button right over here and simply color the area near of where my shirt is going to be, all right? All right, so it looks absolutely perfect. Now I'm going to click on try on once again, and let's see how it's going to turn out this time, okay? All right, and just like that with a little bit of in painting. Now, uh, you know, you can see the dress looks absolutely perfect, and our t-shirt uh, came out pretty, pretty good, right? So this was just a front pose. So let's just say if you want to go ahead and cover uh, like all the poses, right? Because obviously when you're advertising your brand or your product, you need all good angles of that in order to represent that quite beautifully, right? So for that, I have a few of the images as well with me uh, with different poses, like back pose, side pose, and kind of a front pose as well. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, the back pose. And in the garment, I'm going to upload the image of my t-shirt with the back pose as well. All right. So this is the one like the back of my t-shirt. All right. All right, guys. So in painting uh, or masking is all done. Now I'm going to go ahead and try to run this once again. And let's see how this is going to turn out this time. Okay. Okay. So now this one looks really, really good. It looks much better. Now we have the design uh, like very, very good. And the text in that looks, uh, you know, not that good. But we can try it. Uh, the other products uh, which has less text but you guys get the idea like you know you can go ahead and advertise your product very easily uh, with new models with different models you can do that to anyone you like by using IDMV talk okay and you can create amazing results with the most challenging poses possible right like you can take a look uh, in these examples as well so yeah there you have it guys uh, this was the exploration of the new hugging face tool IDMV Dawn so yeah, I hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.